so much. Okay, so this is Unit 5, Lesson 3. And so we're going to see a whole bunch of story problems in this one. And so I'm going to refresh your memory because we are so good at story problems and we are so good at math that we're going to use 18 numbers now with story problems. So we've got this. So let's kind of review some things. I know that all of us teach it a little bit different, but you can do this. Okay, so I created a story problem and it has me in it. So it'll be kind of fun. All right, we're gonna read this together. I'm gonna point to each word because we're amazing readers as well. So, Miss Anderson has 14 cookies. I gave Mrs. Hopper mm, some cookies because I love sharing with Mrs. Hopper. Now, I have eight cookies left. How many cookies did I give to Mrs. Hopper? So that's what we're gonna try and find out sometimes I love it. Mrs. Taya says that she has her class, and sometimes I do this too, close their eyes and listen to the story problem to figure out what it is exactly that we're looking for. Because sometimes you might be listening, looking for the missing total or the missing partner. So we're gonna look for these things and read it one more time or maybe look at some clues. I like to have my class underline the number because numbers are important in story problems. So let's look at this. Miss Anderson has 14 cookies. Okay, I'm gonna underline 14. Now. Some of you might want to do an equation because you're like, oh, equations are my things. I love writing equations. Some of you might be like, oh my gosh, I love to draw circles because those are my things. That's my jam. That's what Mrs. Moss would say. That's my jam. So what you could do is also draw a math mountain. So 14 cookies. I gave Mrs. Hopper, oh, some cookies. And I always tell my students, this is the dun, dun, dun. This is what we don't know. Dun, dun, dun mystery box. And then now I have eight cookies left. So I have eight left. So I'm going to do an equation because I'm comfortable with an equation, but if you like to draw circles, you can. So I have 14 cookies. Ooh, I can see those 14 cookies and I can smell them too. Now, I gave some to Mrs. Hopper, so if I'm giving some away, what do you think I'm doing? Oh, I bet you got it. We're subtracting. Okay, so we're subtracting and we've got our dun-dun-dun box because we don't know the sum of how many I gave away. That's what we got to find out. Okay, so I have eight left. Now, at this point, you could draw some circles and you could draw 14 of them and then you could save eight of them if, if that's your thing. Or you can count down. So maybe I want to do 14 and then I'm going to count down to eight. Eight's where I'm going to stop. So 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. If you like to do it that way, you can. I know that's a little different. If you're like, I don't like that way, Miss Anderson then you can draw 14 circles. And I'm gonna try and draw them really fast. You guys are being so patient. Let's hope I have 14 cookies up here. Okay, so I need to cross them out until I get to eight. So I'm gonna cross them out, but I'm gonna maybe circle the eight that I have left, because maybe that's what I like. So I'm gonna be like, this is my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are my eight that I have left over. These ones are mine. I'm not gonna share those ones. Mrs. Hopper, but the rest of them I did share with Mrs. Hopper. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I shared six with Mrs. Hopper. Or I could count up what I did right here. Okay. Or I could count on, I could start at eight and I could count up to 14. I could say eight and put that in my head. And then I could count up to 14, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So either way you do it, whatever works for you is what we want you to do. We love you guys and miss you.